At the VFW Post 6859 here in Portland, there's a long overdue welcome home ceremony for David Witten, who served during the Vietnam War. We were in the jungle. You couldn't see more than 15 or 20 feet in front of you. It just kept going and going and going. And there was never a rest. For your courageous and heroic actions. 57 years ago to the day, Witten was shot in the leg, his throat cut on the battlefield. So many guys get killed. Uh, all the way to this day and probably to the day I die, I could never figure out why God saved me and let my friends die. We was treated worse by the American civilians at home than we were by the Viet Cong. I talked to David. Witten, now in his 70s, went to the VFW and shared his story. I also realized way too much time has passed without the proper recognition. He talked about all the people who had worked on his awards and how nothing had happened. Purple Heart with one bronze oak leaf cluster. That's when members jumped into action and contacted Senator Angus King's office. The Senator's service rep, Sarah Grittinger, worked diligently to help Witten get his Purple Heart for his bravery and sacrifice. Bronze service stars. As you could see, moved uh, himself by this ceremony. I'm just glad that I could play a small part in it. Witten now has four Purple Heart medals. At today's ceremony, he was surrounded by friends in the community, even inviting his local mailman. Welcome home. I live all alone, so my exposure to crowds like this is really rare. I ain't nobody special. I'm just like any one of you. I don't think I'm a hero. I think I'm a survivor. But today, I love you guys calling me a hero. We're proud of you and grateful of your commitment to the defense of freedom. Signed, Janet Mills, Governor of Maine. I'd rather have this happen than win the lottery million dollars, to tell you the truth. I, I finally can say I'm back home. Right. Reporting in Portland, I'm Talia Clark for Maine's Total Coverage.